So a new survey has been released that uh, questions how Thais feel about the neutrality of media in the country. So a recent survey by the National Institute of Development Administration, or NIDA, in Thailand involving 1,310 participants revealed insights into the public's perception of media neutrality in the country. The survey found that a significant 38.9% believe Thai media tends to exaggerate or dramatize views, while 33.6% perceive a bias in reporting, and 30.7% think news lacks adequate fact-checking. Additionally, 30% feel the media reports news to benefit their own business whereas only 25% believe it serves the public interest, and just 21% view the media as impartial. In terms of reporting freedom, 39% see Thai media as having relative freedom, 28.8% believe it has a high degree of freedom, and 24% think it has little freedom. Regarding neutrality, 38% consider Thai media somewhat neutral, but 32% see it as not very neutral. This survey highlights concerns about the freedom and impartiality of Thai media in the current era. Well, what do you guys think? How am I doing? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Thai media, you know, this is a thing everywhere. Media is meant to be neutral. Like, news is meant to be neutral. Traditionally, that's what we think of the news. It's supposed to be information. We give you the facts, and then you decide what to make of it. But that is just not what the landscape looks like today. Uh, boring news doesn't get watched. So almost every news channel, every news outlet has some sort of... Uh, talking head, some opinion attached to it. So, yeah, you're going to get more bias in the media that's consumed when that's what people seem to want. So, uh, to me, this is more of a, a market issue, a supply and demand issue. The boring news just doesn't get watched. So, what do you got to do? You got to spice it up with personalities. So, is that a good thing? I don't know. It just seems to be the way of the world. Mm.